Hi everyone. Um, so last night was a bit of a late night, and so I've been going a little bit uh, slow today. I know, what a slacker. Um, but I've got some good progress to show you. Um, of course, it's Saturday now and uh, Cyril's nodding on a Saturday. So I've been tidying up a little bit. Just uh, just something to do on a Saturday, a lazy, lazy Saturday for me. Um, but let me show you where we're up to. So of course you'd seen this parquet done, now everything's empty, you can kind of get a size of the room, it is quite big. And then as we go through into where we're going to have a bedroom and the room off the kitchen, uh, yeah, it's done. So that means that on Monday, if Denny wants to come and do the plumbing, he can come. Because the boiler is going here, and the parquet is down, we just need to put some something for the boiler to sit on. Gas boiler, obviously. And this here, where the pipes look like they're going outside, they've just been, just put them in there to keep them out of the way. Yeah. That is for the uh, boiler exhaust. Apparently it has to be there, uh, rather than going somewhere else first or going through the roof. So there we go. I actually, oh, we actually own, I think it's like 50 centimeters or a little bit more uh, on the other side of that wall. So that means we can put the pipe in there for the exhaust. So yeah, this is all, uh, all ready to go. There was somebody asking questions in comments. Why, um, why have we got so many kitchens going in? Uh, which is fairly um, normal question. Why would a house normally have three kitchens? It just doesn't need it. Um, so I'll explain that to those of you that have only just come to the channel now. So I'm stood with the main kitchen behind me, which I'm not showing you on purpose. And then the garage is to the left here. And of course there's the wine cave from the, down from the garage. Um, and this room here is going to be split in two where the pipe is, the soil pipe. And this, I'm going to come around this way to show you this angle here. So this whole area here, that, that look out through those windows to the garage, that is going to be a little room off the kitchen. So for the washing machine, tumble dryer... Um, just general stuff that you don't want people to see in the kitchen. Oh, I'm giving you all a sneaky peek of the kitchen then. That was a bit silly. So yeah, this room to, to about here is, um, is going to be that room off the kitchen. And then this here is going to have a door through into a bedroom. But that's not going to be the main door into the bedroom. And I'll show you why. This here is going to be the main door into the bedroom. And you're going to come back through this door into the kind of salon. Uh, so like sitting room, dining room and kitchen. And then in this corner here where we've got a window is gonna be another bedroom. And in this corner here is gonna be a fairly small bathroom. So there the uh, kitchen counts up to two guys. And why have I got two kitchens? And why is there a door through that bedroom uh, on both sides. So basically, this little extension where the garage is, is actually gonna be for a granny flat, friend's apartment, whatever you wanna call it. It's just, if you've got somebody coming to stay with you and they're not living here, then, you know, this is where they can stay. So it's kind of their own private area, but at the same time, it needs to be communicable with the actual, um, with the actual main house. So that's why we've got the two doors in, in that bedroom. Um, just for ease of access when there's nobody here or even when people are here and they want to go through to the main house They just open that door and through they go So that's why we have two kitchens and then the third kitchen is in the other side of the uh, of the chateau and um, That's actually in the other extension 
and that is for summer parties so it's probably going to be a bit uh, kitchen kind of bar style and um and yeah it's just going to make it easier for when there's a barbecue outside and you buy the pool and things like that so that's why we're having three kitchens albeit that one over there is going to be a fairly small like four or five unit thing you've got the main kitchen that you can get things out of as well and then in here it's not going to be a particularly big kitchen either maybe six seven units you don't really need a lot um it's a kitchenette maybe i think that's probably the best way to describe it in here kitchenette in here kitchenette on the other end and a big kitchen in the main house so let's go and see that big kitchen in the main house see what i've been up to big cleanup operation will be in this uh kitchen area so now that it's like it's raining a little bit more outside and we've done the majority we're going to come and clean a little bit in here back through along the new parquet and some of you have probably been eagle-eyed and spotted a little bit of change in the kitchen well here we go it's empty and so this kind of gives you the full size of the room so yeah this door here leads through to the hall so, oops Still trying to get some handles for these doors. So yeah, there we go. So we lead through into the hall here and then back down into the kitchen. Now, I've opened up these little windows behind just to show how much light they bring in. Okay, I've got my big spots and they're just for working. But if you look, you can see just there, you've got like a beam of light. And so, as small as these little windows are, which one I almost closed, they, um, they do let in quite a bit of light, really. So, yeah. And then, turning around here, this is where the, what the French call a piano is, which is the main grill, with um, hot aspirante. So that's a uh, extractor fan going here, going straight out that tube outside. And then this is where I was thinking would be a really good place for a kitchen table. We've got rid of some of the furniture that was in here and now you can see the size of the room. It's, it's really a lot bigger. Um, these two doors here and here lead through into the dining room, the red dining room. Okay, I did cheat a little bit. I've not got everything out. But that, I did manage to get up the step on my own, but it's just trying to get it anywhere else um, is a little bit of a nightmare really. And I need this machine here to put the plasterboard back up where I had a little problem when we turned the water on. But yeah. So I'm going for a preemptive answer to a question that I know is going to come up as soon as we put this vlog out. And um, yeah, it's, it just needs answering, I think. So I'll uh, tell you about it. Here, we've got the room for the American fridge or, or what the Americans would call a fridge. And next to it, we've got this kind of awkward angle with this little trap here and you know it kind of blocks off your view of the kitchen to the left as you're coming through from the hall and people i know are going to say why have you done that well i've done that for one main reason 
The main reason is this beam here has a massive post that I put a huge foundation in underneath supporting it. There was nothing wrong with the beam. It's just that we put extra weight above because there was a, there's a bedroom up there that the roof is now quite a bit heavier than it was because we're using better tiles. And also um, kind of building regs have changed. And so we needed extra support for the roof above, um, the bedroom above here, if that makes sense. So I just thought with this being an old oak beam, I think I'd prefer to put a pillar in. And I thought, you know what, I'm gonna put a toilet behind there. And in the end, we thought we'll stop at seven toilets for the house. So we said, you know what, they can use the toilet on the other side. If they need to go to the toilet, they can go over there. So I put the pillar in first, got on with building the roof, and then we changed our mind about the toilet. And so we just thought we'll box it in. And the little, um, I'm struggling to get around that. Hold on. And the little trap here, I'm gonna open and show you what's in there. There we go. This is all the heating pipes. So a bit of a maze, but it, it's really important that this is this manifold that we're gonna put here is accessible. Now you can possibly see the soil stack behind there because like I said, we were gonna have a toilet down here. And, uh, and yeah, it, it kind of just shows you the inner workings of the house, really. There is another manifold, but that's underneath the stairs. Of course, this back room of the kitchen was never part of the kitchen. Um, it would never be part of the kitchen. It's far too small. Um, it was probably part of the old building that was here before all of the um, grandeur got built on the front. Um, and... And so, yeah, it's, it's kind of one of those, what do you do with the room if, if it's not going to be part of the kitchen? And in the end, I said, you know what, let's make it a cosy part of the kitchen. And I think when we've got all the lights in and when tiles are down, everything's painted and the kitchen itself is in, it will just completely change. The other thing is on the other side of the um, pillar here, we also have a place for a radiator. Um, let me show you that. So yeah, here's the place for the radiator. Um, so if you're coming through from the uh, hall, you're gonna have a lovely cast iron radiator in front of you there, and nice um, marble effect tiles kind of spreading out away from the door. So it should, should be really, really good. I'm really, excited to see how this turns out we're not going to be far off we are possibly going to be doing some tiling outside before we come in and, and carry on in here but i might well get anna doing the tape and tape and joint on the ceiling and on the walls in here so we're advancing because don't really want to put the tiles down before um before we've done all of that and got a good paint so there you go that's what we've been up to I know uh, we advanced quite well again, um, so I'm really happy with that. And uh, I'm going to shoot off now and spend the rest of the weekend with the kids. I thought I'd just stop off on the way home for you. A little bonus. In the UK, it's called a Brucey bonus, but let's let's see where I've gone. So here we are in Cam, C A M B S. We've got a little brocan. So of course the first thing that hits you as you come in here is this beautiful comptoir from about 1900. It has all the original fittings at 3300. How beautiful is that? And of course, nice set of doors behind. Makes somebody's bar brilliant, that. Seems to be a lot of bar memorabilia in here. So lots of ashtrays from years gone by. Of course, Martini company were into their ashtrays. 
And then here's your whiskey uh, kind of water jugs. Not so sure how old some of those are, but some beautiful ones there as well. And gin as well. So probably be for your tonic, that. And of course, we're in France, so the same kind of things for Ricard. So if people don't know what Ricard is, it's an aniseed-based drink. Very, very strong. I think it, I'm right in saying that it got banned in the UK for being too high percentage. Whether it was 45% at the time, but now it's 45%. So. I am scanning around really quickly because I've got 10 minutes before he closes. So this is an old French game. Somebody can probably tell us in the comments what this is, what it's called. And there are some France maps. But because they're old, they don't have all the motorways on any. I can see one missing from Angers, Nantes, down to Bordeaux that I take sometimes. Would have been perfect for Cyril, but it's a little old. There's some really funky things in here, like this little painting here. So there's another bar here, kind of 60s looking. Oh yes, 60s bar, so 60s bar, 2,900 euros. And the stools are just fabulous. Look at those. Another similar bar to the entry, but not quite as nice. And then coming around, Quite a few places in Bordeaux have these kind of aircraft style tables and things and don't know whether they're original or not. Some of them are obviously are, but I'm not so sure about this one. And hidden in amongst all this, you have some tables, chairs, obviously, but you've got this beautiful little table with all inlay. I don't think there's a huge amount of age to it, but it's quite nice. Yeah, it's not particularly old. But it's all 210 euros. It's quite cute. So I've just skimmed through this side of the shop and found this. This is an old clamp. So it's obviously a workman's bench. Kind of equivalent of a butcher's block but for making wood and, and whatnot. I've got some nice old sign there. The sign is on for 580 euros. I'm not so sure about the block. So just in another area in the shop, it's a real mix again. Got these kind of 70s, 60s tables and things. And then just tucked away at the back, a rather large butcher's block at 1,050. And what's nice with this one, again, it has the back piece where you can put your knives. There's some nice drawers. So nothing's missing. And, uh, quite clearly seen quite a lot of use. So the guy's closing up and I have to get out anyway because I'll be in real trouble with Anna if I'm not back soon. That was a real curiosity kind of rock on there. Um, it had so much stuff from the 60s, 70s, and then like I said, whilst I was in there, all mixed in with some okay kind of antiques. I wouldn't say there was any really high-end antiques in there. Um, but the 60s, 70s stuff was quite collectible. Um, you can see the prices that, that they were asking for some of those. Um, but yeah, the guy seemed a really nice guy. If you're in the area, you should pop in. It's, it's interesting. Um, 
I suppose 60s, 70s is the time time gone by now. Um, so yeah, maybe not high-end antiques, but really, really, really interesting in there. Probably something in there for everybody. As I'm pulling away, I spotted one of the uh, glass dryers. Um, that's, uh, that's good for if you wanted to do one of our lights like we did. Uh, so I want to upscale this. I think a lamp on the floor would look really nice. I mean, I thought like hanging, but on the floor, it was looking spectacular. I mean, even here, 